A travel warning for Tamaulipas continues. Violent crime and gang activity is widespread. That's according to the State Department. They warn armed criminals are targeting buses and cars in the state. Taking hostages for ransom is likely. The Vice President of Tactical Analysis for Stratfor, Scott Stewart, spoke with us by Skype. He says the increase in violence is due to infighting between cartels. Pretty hot wars going on for control of places uh, like Reynosa, where we've had the Gulf Cartel faction from Matamoros trying to uh, kind of move into that plaza and displace Los Metros, which was a, a Gulf Cartel faction which controls uh, you know, that, that place. We've also seen a fault line over by Miguel Aleman, where you have the, the CDN pushing in uh, against the Gulf Cartel factions. So all across... Uh, Stewart warns the violence in Tamaulipas can spill across to communities along the border. A spokesperson for the state of Tamaulipas tells us if you plan to travel to the state capital, expect to see more police on the ground and patrols in the air. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey asked if added patrols will help curb the violence. Luis Alberto Rodriguez Juarez is the public information officer for the security department of the state of Tamaulipas. He spoke with us from Tamaulipas on Skype. Luis Alberto Rodriguez Juarez confirms his state police are working with federal police. There is a reason for it. He says the violence seen on the other side of this bridge in Mexico is now also being seen about 200 miles south in Ciudad Victoria. Most notably, a rise in murders in Ciudad Victoria over recent months. Ahora, muchos de estos homicidios que ocurren en el caso de Tamaulipas se deben fundamentalmente a confrontaciones, muchas ocasiones entre grupos rivales. Juarez tells us the police need to fight hard. These are violent times in his part of the world. Sí, estamos observando que en diferentes regiones del país se están presentando incrementos muy importantes en, la, en lo que tiene que ver con homicidios y dolosos y lesiones. You heard from the VP of Tactical Analysis at Stratfor, Scott Stewart. Stratfor is a security company that provides intelligence reports to individuals and corporations. He says Ciudad Victoria is a battleground of two powerful factions of the former Gulf Cartel and of Los Zetas Cartel. He says organizations like these can create a lot of carnage. We asked if an alliance between state and federal police in Ciudad Victoria will halt the violence. When you have an increase in law enforcement presence, it might quell the battle for a little while. Uh, but it's not going to end. And, uh, you know, as soon as the pressure is removed, we're going to see just a, a re-engagement of uh, the forces in the battle for control of the, of the city there, Ciudad Victoria. Stewart adds the police forces there have a huge task in trying to do their due diligence to sort out corruption. Stewart says some people in Mexico are joining the police with the intention of working with the cartels once they are hired. Now, this adds some complication to the fight against crime in Ciudad Victoria. For now, Rodriguez Juarez boasting of some of the effectiveness of the policing in Tamaulipas. He says in the coming days, he will announce the arrest of a few major players in the crime scene in Tamaulipas. In Progresso, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News at 6.